Hello. Till now we have seen uh, JMeter non-GUI mode execution and JMeter GUI mode execution. This is an extension to the non-GUI mode execution part of it. I have recorded a script for livecharger.org through bad boy and I have created this script as shown here. This is the test plan. I have introduced some user defined variables like app URL, users, ramp up period, duration. And I have put parameters over here in the value section where I have given each parameter the key and its value. Then comes this authorization manager has been added by default by bad boy cookie manager has been added by default cache manager has been added by default http request defaults i have added and in that i am giving the parameter name app underscore url which was there in test plan coming to the thread group we see here that the number of threads is dollar users and the ramp up period is dollar ramp up period the duration is dollar duration so whatever duration we pass as a parameter when we execute it through non gui mode we will get the results and this is pretty dynamic so it's good for our testing home page has nothing since it is taking data from the http request defaults about page has just the path about archives page has just the path archives i have put a view results tree over here and that's all that my test plan consists of coming to the batch file creation i have created this batch file why i have created this batch file is because we require to execute a certain test with long parameter list or long commands and to avoid this we can create a template sort of thing in which we can place all our batch scripts that are required for jmeter non gui execution here i am initially bringing the system to the bin directory then i am setting the output format as csv then i am here uh, setting the print field names as true and then after that i am executing our batch test.jmx using non gui mode and the test script location as well as i am giving the after the you, you need to remember that after the uh, jmx file you need to give the user defined variables i am giving the app url you you don't need to give the app url because it is going to be uh, livecharger.org but you can change the number of users and the ramp up period so here the number of users is 1 the ramp up period is 0 and minus l indicates the test result file so this is test result dot jtl now let's delete the test result file which was created earlier there there you go so it's deleted so here the main uh, aspect of non gui is to increase performance of uh, our execution otherwise it creates a lots of issues uh, when we execute it through the front end let's uh, execute this test when we execute the test all we need to do is we need to go to our bin directory and type what was the name my test my file okay my file dot bat this will start executing our batch file so this will get executed pretty quickly since it is only for one user three test will be run and we will get the result in test result dot jtl it's executing right now so let it run the test run has completed 
So now we will go and see whether our test result.jtl file has been created. The test result.jtl file has been created with the timestamp of 19th of October 2016 11:51 am. That is right now. In order to view this test result.jtl file, there is an option. I have already added the view result tree in JMeter. So there is an option over here to browse the test result file in JTL format. So I select this one and click open. So you get the result over here and it's pretty uh, clean. So this way you can reduce a lot of burden on the GUI by executing it through non GUI mode. And the most important part is you can use a batch file to reduce your effort in writing the same uh, commands again and again. You will find this pretty helpful while debugging your JMeter test. Thanks. If you have any questions, do let me know. I will surely help you out on this. And do subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thank you.